of Brother Joseph or uh, Brother Jose Rodriguez, as I believe the disciple of Saint Joseph, to share us about his ministry and about his book. Thank you kindly. So um, my Saint Joseph apostolate uh, started in 2011. It originally came from me wanting to learn more about Saint Joseph because at that time, uh, there was a difficult time finding much about him information. Uh, the famous line that people say is, oh, he doesn't say anything in the Bible. We don't know anything about him. Uh, but the thing is, we do know a lot about him. We just have to hunt for it, for the information. So because I wanted to know more about him, I began to piece information together from various mystics, uh, from the popes, the saints through the centuries. And putting it all together, you're able to find his entire life story. Um, so I decided to put it under one cover and released it as the book of Joseph to be able to share it with other people uh, because he's always been a very special uh, patron to me. He's been my father figure since I was young. And so I wanted to share my father figure with everyone else. And I believe that by doing this, I've been able to appreciate our Lord Jesus in so many different ways now. Uh, I feel connected to him in a different way. It's almost like Papa Joseph is bringing me to come and play with his son, you know, as kids. So he introduced me to our Lord in that way, and I'm very grateful. And um, I believe especially now, uh, after the year of St. Joseph, uh, in this millennium, we, we do need him more than ever. And now he is becoming more prominent. Uh, because this is the time he's been reserved for, especially during these times for fathers, uh, for men to be chased, uh, for even for the church, as patron of the church, we see so much confusion. And so we need to ask for the intercession of St. Joseph, because he's not just a decoration, a statue in a church, he is the patron. And so as patron, he has a job to do. And so that's why we must invoke him. So this all started with me just wanting to learn more about this amazing saint. And um, I'm so grateful, you know, over the years, I've been able to publish books, to share with people, devotions, videos. And, you know, the internet could be used for so many horrible things. But on the other hand, it's also a great evangelization tool. And so we're able to use this technology for good to reach people around the world. Uh, I mean, this is a perfect example. We have you in the Philippines, we have people in Africa, North America. And again, St. Joseph is the patron of the universal church. So it, it, he connects us worldwide and brings us all to his son. So um, I think he is, isn't he even a big deal in the Philippines? I think he's a big deal in the Philippines. Yeah. I see um, a lot of posts from, from friends who live there and there's various shrines to him. And I'd like to visit there one day. But um, his importance for me personally, I mean, I, I'm in such a great debt to St. Joseph and to our Lord for bringing me St. Joseph because he, he was always my father figure. Um, when I struggle with impurity, I go to him, uh, St. Joseph most chaste, as his litany says. And that's the thing we need to understand with saints is, yes, we can recite litanies and read books and have statues, but what we need is to actually develop relationships with them because they are real people living in, in eternity now in paradise. And so we need to feel comfortable with approaching them as human beings who are glorified now. And, uh, and that's how I see St. Joseph. He's not just an image, you know, he, he's a, a living, breathing man who gets to behold our Lord and our lady for all eternity. Um, it's really quite beautiful when you think about that. And, and I pray to him for a happy death because we want to share in what he has because he had a blessed death with our Lord and our Lady. And so we can invoke him for anything. I mean, you know, Teresa Davila, Padre Pio, Pius IX, like they all absolutely adored St. Joseph. And we need to, to not be afraid to approach him. And some people will say, again, like I mentioned, you know, we don't know anything about him. He doesn't speak in the Bible. So people tend to dismiss him. But I notice there are a lot of people devoted to St. To Anne, to St. Philomena, 
we don't know much about those two either. St. Anne isn't in the Bible. Philomena, only we have is the legend. So at least with Joseph, he's in the Bible and he does have an active role in the, in the life of our Lord Jesus and Our Lady. So we need to imitate his example, not just of, of prayer and humility, but action in our faith lives. And uh, that's what I'm hoping people will get when they read my book, is to be inspired to want to become another St. Joseph in a way. All right. Thank you so much, Brother uh, Sarah Rodriguez. Yeah, I saw, I saw one of your posts that uh, you actually helped uh, a parish here in the Philippines uh, by... Actually, I don't know if it was the feast of St. Joseph or the parish of St. Joseph who um, they received um, actually a donation from your ministry. It's about the, the I don't know if it's uh, what you call it, the cord of St. Joseph. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a friend of mine, um, John Pineda in uh, the Philippines, he he makes cords of St. Joseph and attaches medals and uh, has a prayer booklet. And so because with donations, he's able to send out free cords of St. Joseph to people, um, especially in the Philippines, but he does send it worldwide. And there are lots of beautiful St. Joseph ministries now, like in the Philippines, the, the court of St. Joseph, you know, that's, it's a, a long lost tradition that's being brought back now. And I think, you know, we need to take advantage of those sacramentals. Um, where can we get this book that you have published already? I believe you have a lot of books or three books already are out. My main book, uh, the book that started it all, is called The Book of Joseph. Very simple. Um, it's available in English, Portuguese, Spanish, and uh, Filipino, uh, Tagalog. Um, it's available on my website, which is blessedjoseph.com. And... I also have prayer books, devotional books, uh, things like that as well. Oh, and the link to the cords of St. Joseph is on my website as well. So if people want to get a cord, it's, it's linked on my page. All right. Thank you so much once again. Um, uh, last words or you have already had final message for them as I know you are not going to stay long for uh, you have also another commitment. I think my parting words would be to read the papal encyclicals in addition to my book, because the popes have been talking about St. Joseph for, you know, about over a century now, uh, more like more prominently. So read, read Pope Pius IX, read Pope Leo XIII, uh, very beautiful documents. Also uh, by John Paul II, he released Redemptoris Custos, which is a beautiful document. So by getting to know St. Joseph, it also connects us more to the church because he is the patron of the church. We have these beautiful documents from the popes. We need to actually get to know Joseph through the popes and through the church. And my parting words, I guess, would be, um, you know, try to, try to get to know St. Joseph on a personal level. Like sometimes when I pray, it's not a long, you know, three-page prayer. Sometimes it's very simple. It's just you know, St. Joseph, I love you. Help me to become like you. You know, we, we want to become faithful reflections of him because I, one thing I like to meditate on, I, I kind of go on and on, but one thing I like to meditate on is that he was the first man to embrace Christ, you know, physically, spiritually, the first man to hold him in his hands. And so before any other saint, was St. Joseph, who held the Eucharist in his hands, our Lord, flesh and blood, you know, from heaven. Jesus is the, the bread of life. So St. Joseph was the first man to hold that. So I think he's a great example for priests. You know, even though he wasn't a priest, he was the first to behold and adore the Eucharistic Lord. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll keep this short. My parting words would just be, God bless you all, and St. Joseph, smile upon you. So really, uh wonderful inspirational words for you are indeed a disciple of saint joseph